everyone, my name is Cindy and I'm a French girl who's been living um, for the past three years in the UK. So I have got an interest in uh, people training workforce um, due to my um, career in hospitality was been there for a decade, like for more than 15 years. Um, for a change of careers, I just um, been with Open University for the last three years to complete a bachelor degrees in business management, specialty leadership. So um, actually, my present career in hospitality is due related um, to um, have a strong point on my customer services and training the new employee up to standard to organizations requirement and also handling complaint. But my future career would be um, in human resource and I would like to have a grow and um, stable career for it. So basically for now I'm just currently undertaking um internship in human resource where I'm learning um, the recruitment process uh, until the exit interview. So basically my um, human resource internship is to be um, creating some HR document would be from the recruitment process, the orientation process, the leave process, and the resignation process, and the employee checklist, until the exit interview process. Um, also, on the part of my HR internship, um, I'm doing also some interviews, so I know how to do the interviews and posting um, the advertisement on Facebook and also creating some job descriptions. So furthermore, I will talk about the placement or doing between the strength and weakness between um, Nepal and the UK. So um, the strongest point, um, if you want to do an internship in uh, Nepal, is you will have an exposure of the workplace, like office worker, like real life experience, like you will be given like real task um, directly to, to the client. You will go to the client visit and create on your home some like as I'm doing HR uh, document. And the only thing is the weaknesses will be is, um, the cost of the expense and um, of the life as we be far from home and also as is unpaid internship. And in the other part from the UK, so um, if you would like to do like an internship in the UK, it's a very competitive market, so you have a very low chance to get in. And also with the economic um, unstable with the Brexit, um, it will be reduce your chance to get an internship there. And furthermore, um, if you want to do an internship in the UK, you will get paid for it. But the thing is, you won't have this exposure um, real life as an office worker or given real tasks for it. Um, and it will be the weaknesses will be the lack of the consistency of training and the real life experience that you need to gain it. Uh, for to do a real internship. So in sum, um, I would recommend anyone to do a placement or internship abroad as you will have a practical um, to experience for it. Uh, you will have um, a concrete knowledge, you will get your CV more richer for it and basically is only the best opportunity you can do is to gain abroad and get your experience.